In Alice Springs, sport is less of a hobby and more of a way of life. Good grab to finish it off. But the snap decision to force a youth curfew on the town now threatens to impact life on and off the field. Training here normally finishes at 7, 7 ish o'clock, so lucky this oval isn't in the CBD or else we'll be getting flagged. 18 year old Armani has had her own experience with the new restrictions, stopped by police while walking through the CBD with her younger cousins. It was quite an intimidating experience, but you know, that's what it is with police, I guess. Dalida Forrester has seen her teenage daughters in trouble with the law before, and she fears for their safety in the CBD. It is not fair, it is a bit wrong, unsafe for everyone else. Everybody in the town, not only every group of people, but white people too. While the short-term so-called circuit breaker is front of mind in the town, in the background, local leaders are at odds about longer-term solutions, including calls from inside the classroom to improve housing standards for young students living across Alice Springs. We need to address the standard of the town camps and the living conditions that our families are putting up with. We wouldn't accept that in any other part of Australia, and yet the, you know, we've got 16 or 17 town camps right, right surrounding uh, Alice Springs and you know, absolutely diabolical living conditions, and that needs to be addressed. Principal Gavin Morris also taking aim at those responsible for looking after youths in the Territory's care. Unless we have a child protection system which is flawed, which is culturally appropriate, which is nuanced to the Alice Springs community, uh, we're going to have a, a continuing conversation around uh, generational impacts in terms of getting this wrong. The pressure now on for a plan for young residents when the curfew ends. Lee Robinson, ABC News, Alice Springs.